All right, all right, Collective. I am back with the second reading for Saturday, September 23rd. Please take what resonates and you know what to do with the rest. Let's get on into these energies. The last reading was a bit wackadoodle, but these are uh, real times we're in. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh-oh, Hancock, Twin Flame and Reverse Energy coming through. I did two readings last night. This energy came through and I just I just dumped the videos. I didn't even want to deal with it or post it, but you got a twin flame in reverse, someone that you've cut off. Could be your twin, false twin, whatever we're calling it. I keep saying that because I really don't know. Be careful who you allow to move into your home. Now is not the time to take in strays. This person could be coming to you because they need somewhere to live. Twin flame in reverse energy. If you've never seen the Hancock movie, check it out with Will Smith. It's old. I don't know how many years ago um, it came out, but it definitely has that twin flamey dynamic going on. Bottom of the deck, we have he was a serial killer in a past life. He wants to kill you, but is fighting the urge. So this person, that spirit, is very clear about warning you of letting, being careful about who you allow into your home. And not just allow into your home, but to move into your home. There is a lot of migration happening across the states. There are a lot of people that have uh, been running on fumes. They need a place to live. You know, it is what it is, once again, but use your discernment if you have a family member or someone that's on the brink of whatever, disaster even. Sometimes these things have to play out in that person's life and you can't be everybody's savior, but most of you, if not all of you, you know that already. Bottom of the deck here, we've got the past returns for a time, so there's a past person that is returning to you how they go about this way not quite sure just yet so let's get a card for twin flame in reverse energy oh. breaking dawn violet angel 23 violet flame energy at the bottom we have aloha healing this person could be in the process of healing and or they need your healing. They are pouting. This person, this twin flame in reverse is pouting. They don't like the turn of events that they've recently experienced. They don't like that you continue to ignore them. They want to break down your barriers. They want to entice you in some kind of way. They think they still have an opening. They think they can still get back in. So be careful. Why is be careful who you allow to move into your home here? Your home is your sanctuary. And once you let them in, once you let someone move in, it's very hard to get them out. So, yeah. Ancient wisdom is clarifying. Be careful who you allow to move into your home. Like I just said, your home is your sanctuary. And it goes beyond just being a physical sanctuary. This is where you regenerate yourself and you touch down and you touch up and you access the ancient wisdom that is already within you. And you're able to do that because you treat your home as your sanctuary. Okay, it's where you find your peace. It's where you're the most creative. Number 31 breaks down to a four. It is your foundation. Don't allow anyone to come in and break down your foundation. You're carefully built, carefully taken care of. Prideful foundation. Invasion, boundaries violated, dominance. So yeah, this past energy here is not in the best manner. Let's put it like that. They can't even pretend because there's this is a skeleton. Like everything's been bared out. Like they feel hollow. This person feels hollow. They could be having some past life regressive like therapies or 
images that are coming to their mind, reminding of who of who they once probably were in another life. And maybe that's something that they're going to try to tell you or convince you of, like they have no control over how they've behaved in this realm because they were this way in this other realm and blah, blah, blah. They know that you're very spiritual, that you are very understanding, but they're going to try to do some sort of manipulation. Could already be trying to manipulate you online, posing as this and that, you know, Hmm. Death and the maiden. From death comes rebirth. You've rebirthed yourself, this other person. Hmm. I feel like they believe they need to have you in order to be reborn. It's time for a treat. This person treated you like a trick instead of a treat. Which at the end of the world, an important end, a new beginning. So, I mean, you're going through an ending. This person is going through an ending. They want a new beginning with you, but your new beginning has technically already started. You might still be alone. That could be by choice. That could be your destiny. It doesn't really matter, but your new beginning has already started. You're, you've rebirthed yourself. Your home is your sanctuary. Good things are coming to you. Good things have already been delivered. You're a good person. You've got a good heart. Good soul. Violet flame. All right, let's get some more. If y'all hear kids in the background, those are kids playing outside. They curse sometimes, so just don't mind the noise. Violet angel. Twin flame in reverse. Might as well get the archetype, right? Prince. <laughs> Look at this. Using power for self-aggrandizement. I don't think I'm saying that right. That's the shadow. The light is romantic charm and potential for power. This person still believes that they can have power over you. They really do. But, nah. They're going to try to convince you that they've gone through an awakening. They could even be wearing jewelry, some sort of symbolic jewelry, faking the funk. They've been studying martyr, athlete, goddess. I see vampire in the back, storyteller, detective, hidden. Addiction is self-pity. So interestingly enough, we've got this martyr card here and this violet angel here, the same color scheme. The light attribute is learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Breaking dawn. This prince knows that you're very dedicated to self-improvement, especially when it comes to your spirituality. You are more than willing and capable of helping others, but you do draw the line in the sand when you know that you are going to be taken advantage of. This person who has an addiction to self-pity is relying on your good faith as an opening for them to come back in because they need something from you. Be careful. This person could want to pop up on you at your home. Be careful. Hmm. All right, let's get a card for a lady with the Bosch egg. Oh, wow. We got a lot of cards that came out. Lover is at the bottom. Three cards. Child eternal. Very interesting, especially with the color scheme. Synchronicity here. Ancient wisdom. Child eternal. The light is... Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Even though you've closed the door to the past, you are still able to peer between timelines in order to access ancient wisdom that is always from the past into the present, into the future. You bounce around a lot spiritually. That's your ability. And so you're always able to see through fresh eyes. 
The shadow here is inability to grow up and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security. And that's quite interesting because this card does say, be careful who you allow to move into your home. So there is someone that wants to move into your home. This could even be a child or teenager, someone that you supported, that you sent to college, that you did everything by the book. And now they're back. They need some place to live because they can't afford to be on their own. Maybe they don't have good cleaning habits. Maybe they eat too much. Maybe they talk too much. I don't know. Just be careful who you allow to move into your home. We'll put that there. Hedonist. The light attribute is inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. And like I said, you take care of your home. This is where you create. The shadow is... Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. And what you definitely don't want anyone else to do is to find your paradise and decide that they don't want to leave and they just want to continue on with their indulgences because that does happen too. You have a family member, they've gone off to rehab or whatever, they come back, they don't have a place to live, they tell you that they're clean, they, you move them into a room and boom, boom. They're right back to where they started, and only this time they're jacking up everything that you've built, and you can't get them out of your house. Samaritan, the light attribute is refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So you would prefer to ignore this person, but they are really hoping, or they've got a plan. There's no hope here. They've got a plan that they can somehow finesse you some kind of way. They know you have a big heart. This is a lover here. They could already still have a lover. They could have been picked, kicked out, picked, picked. So they've now picked you because they need you. So they've picked you. Okay. Really? Obsessive, obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destructive devotion. So this person, this twin energy is still very much obsessed with you energetically for sure. Physically, there could still be some jealousy, some competition. Let's get the tarot to see what comes out. Twin flame in reverse. Three of Pentacles, and it came out in the reverse. The devil. See, so this person is more than likely not working. They could have lost their job, lost their credentials. They could even, like, have their computer isn't working, so they have to go to the library. Got all these books here. They might be having to go to the library to access the internet or something. They could be really down and out. But they're not, they've given up on something. They're not working or not as not working as much as they should or either if they're a professional and they have certifications or something that's been suspended. We do have the devil. And behind the devil, we got Ace of Cups, Five of Swords. So this person wants to come back. Destiny, they feel like this is your, ooh, seriously? Could be driving by your house. This is some BS right here. Devil, Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, Destiny, Arc Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Chariot. They know that you're on a separate path, a destined path, that you have new energy that is very much aware of you. They're coming in simply to derail your destiny. That is their intention for sure. For sure. But see, like if this is this energy, they're just used to receiving. They're not used to giving. This water, they've got their cup and the, and the cup is being filled with water, but they're not going to be pouring anything into your cup. They'll pretend to be pouring something into your cup, but no, it could be acid. Like, seriously. Why is Prince here? Eight of Swords, Clarifying Prince, 
Two of Swords. This is a very wish-washy energy here. Curtailment. So, this is a very stubborn energy. Like, they just don't quit at all. And it doesn't matter how low they go, they still have a sense of entitlement. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. <laughs> they feel they have some sort of ownership over you. Like, they've got, got you copyrighted. Could have even copyrighted some of your ideas. This is this this energy is a trip. This energy is a trip, man. Violet Angel, they're being curtailed. They won't be able to get to your door. They just won't. And if they do, they're more than likely gonna get their feelings hurt. Violet Angel. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> The nerve that comes through some of these readings, man. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. What in the world? Knight of Cups. And then what comes out? The Emperor and the Queen of Wands. Regeneration, propulsion. So they're coming. This Eight of Swords could just be mental because the head is turned backwards, but the body and the horse are going in the opposite direction. So like I said, very flighty energy could be dealing with some mental conflict that requires medication or should. <laughs> Emperor, Queen of Wands, a controlling, these, these, this is a controlling energy. They um, could be a creative person. They see you as their last hoorah, their last hoorah. This could be two separate energies working together in cahoots together to come toward you. If this is a past, let's say if this past lover, if this is a past lover and this queen of wands is a former friend, these two at some point got together with each other just to like, piss you off or something like that. And if you come across either of these two energies together, you're going to know right away. Because you knew already, you knew before whatever this is happened, you already knew. You had the download. Don't go ahead. Don't be running over here. Bad buds. They curse so much. They curse like grown people. Night <laughs> Empress, you're this empress. Somebody wants to give you an offer. Five of Pentacles, because their asses is broke. And they miss you terribly. They know you're galactic. They know that they could be 10 steps ahead right now if they would have done the right thing by you when they should have, which perhaps for many of you was a very long time ago. All right. <sighs> Okay, here we go. Be careful who you allow to move into your home. Six of Swords. Like I said, they coming. They are coming for you, darling. They are coming. Nine of Wands. They want this Ten of Cups. They are not giving up. They are not giving up. They just don't care. Yes, they've got regret, but this regret does not equal doing the right thing. It just means they regret. It doesn't mean anything other than that. Like, I mean, of course it means more than that, but in this instant, it doesn't mean like they regret treating you this way or that way because you're a beautiful soul. They regret treating you this way and that way because they've been catching hell ever since and they want to get out of it. They want to get out of their entanglements that have not netted them nearly what they thought they were going to get or what they deserve because once again, this person has an enormous sense of entitlement. It's like insanity. So let's keep going. Hedonist. Nine of Cups. It came out sideways too. Five of Pentacles. Let me look at this again. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. This person could be a drinker. They could be a heavy eater. Whatever they do, whatever their indulgences are, it costs a lot of money to maintain. Does not have to be any sort of illicit drug, 
but there's definitely some alcohol here with these cups and um, they will drain you dry just know that they will drain your ass dry whatever coins you have they will get sucked up so fast because it doesn't feel like this person has a lot of resources right now Whew. lady with the bosh egg they know something is cracking open for you hunte Yes, they do. They know it. You got the codes. You got the downloads. You got the gifts. <laughs> oh, come on. What all these cards? Three of Swords. You got the gift of being a heartbreaker. They feel that you broke their heart. Death. Going through a lot of endings. They are watching you. They are watching you because you left them in the dust. Eight of Wands, and you keep moving forward toward the sun. And if you have to get down, you will get down. And you know how to clown. <laughs> Three of Cups. Someone wants to dance with you. You got a, a group of jealous little raggedy bunnies still hopping around, might be driving around your house watching you. Continue on regenerating. You are the sun and the moon. You are relaxing, chillaxing. You could like to sit on your porch, read your book, talk to nature. Okay. So, yeah. We'll put those there. Three of Swords, Tower. So, them watching you just continues to create a tower. And the vine, the divine, I almost said vine, vine. What is that? Vine. Feels like that relates to internet some kind of way. I don't know. Vine, divine. What? All right. Whatever. Samaritan. It's got me all the way thrown off. Samaritan. Oh my God, now I just like had to burp. Oh, this person could be very burpy. They could be hung over today. They drank too much beer last night. Someone likes beer. Samaritan. Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Huh. Refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. The shadow is exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer. Permutation. I need another card. There's a king of pentacles here that's been suspended. Could be this twin in reverse energy, false flame. Two of pentacles with Samaritan. They're tired of juggling with you. They feel like they're fighting you energetically and they're tired of that. They're tired of thinking about you. They're tired of not having access to you, being suspended from your energy. They feel like this is a never-ending battle that they are determined to put, put, make you put your sword down. We've got Seven of Swords and Queen of Pentacles that came out clarifying this Two of Pentacles. So yeah, this is a sneaky bot, a very sneaky bot. Does not like you having any glory. You could do something in the public eye. You're receiving recognition just by being who you are. They don't like that. Page of Cups, Strength. You might have started with something very small and really built it up, or that's what you're doing. Five of Swords, which is creating a lot of jealous and infancy. <laughs> infancy. Ah, I write much better than I speak, let me just say. Then we've got Art, Eight of Pentacles. So you could be making a living through your art, through your creativity, and this is something that this person wants to emulate or has tried to in the past but got nowhere with it. And so they went on and hung out and married and did all these other things. And they're still right back to square, square one. Let's get one more card, Child Eternal. 
Five of Swords, Three of Wands. They know that you got you got major stuff happening. They know it. They can feel it energetically. They can feel it. This person could be um, hopping into your dream state, trying to tantalize you and torment you at the same time. Busy person. It's a busy body. This is a busy body energy. Five of swords. They just can't sit down either. And they're jealous. They're very jealous. You could even be uh, close in age, the both of you, and maybe you look tremendously younger than they do. And so they're jealous of that. You could work out, keep yourself together. You could be a reader. You're someone that likes to learn. They're jealous of that. You've got a uh, camaraderie with nature. They're jealous of that. I mean, it just goes on and on. They're mad at your abil abilities. They're mad that you're able to stand your ground, swing your sword, sip coffee, tea, all at the same time. They just can't, they can't stand it. They can't stand you. This person can't stand you, but they love you and they want to come to your home. So I'm going to end it here simply because it's just going to, this is a loop. This is a loop right here. Most of this information you already have. So, yeah. Maybe, okay, one more card. Let's just get one more from my, my deck. My little digital deck. Let's see. One more final messages, please, and thank you, Spirit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Your ancestors are breaking the teeth for what they did to you. That's what it is. I'm telling you, this person is... <laughs> They've had enough. They're getting their asses kicked. Ooh, there might be a secret half-sibling. This has come up before in another reading. There's a secret half-sibling in love with you. And that's how I'm just going to leave that there. I don't want to even talk about that. That's like after this morning's reading with how that ended up going way, way to the dark side. No, I'm not talking about that, so... This is what I have for now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, supporting my channel, and I will see you soon in another video.